managerial accounting, planning and control, variance analysis. Now, the final step in our performance evaluation is to calculate variances, to break out the flexible budget spending variances on costs into those that are due to actual cost differences, paying more than we should have according to the standard for the inputs, and what portion is from usage, inefficiency or waste in the use of our resources. So that's what we're going to look at now. The um, variances, again, both break down into how much did we pay and how much did we use. The price variance for direct materials is calculated as the actual price that we paid for the materials, the input, minus the standard price that we should have paid for the materials, again for the input, and then that multiplied times the actual quantity of the input that was used. Now notice, be very careful when you're pulling the information. We looked at the standard costs. Be careful not to pull the standard cost of the product. Rather pull the standard cost of the input, in this case, the raw materials. Now before we can put some numbers with this, we need a little more information. Now you recall, when we were doing the Flex Budget Performance Report, we looked at the standards. The standard cost for direct materials was three pounds of materials per unit at three dollars per pound. So that's our standard. Our three dollars per pound of materials is our standard. But what is the actual cost of the materials? Well, once again, we need some more data. So I'm going to flip my chart around here so we can see the rest of our data. This is our actual cost incurred, broken down by quantity and price of the input. For the materials, we purchased and used 73,600 pounds of materials, and we paid $2.75 per pound for those materials. So that's the $202,400 that we saw as the actual part of the actual cost of cost of goods sold. So this is what we're going to need at this point from our actual uh, standard cost of $3 per pound and our actual cost was $2.75 and we actually purchased and used 73,600 pounds. So we plug that information into our formula. Again, actual price was $2.75 per pound of materials minus the standard price, which was $3 per pound. So we've got a 25 cent variance. Now, look at this. We actually paid $2.75. Standard says we should have paid $3. So we paid less than standard. This is going to be a favorable variance because we paid less than the standard called for. So the price was lower. We saved some money. Now we need to flesh it out in terms of total dollars and that's where the actual quantity comes in. We multiply that 25 cent difference times the actual pounds of material that were purchased and used in this case. So 25 cents times 73,500 actual pounds of material, our materials price variance is a total of $18,400. Now notice on this one, we purchased and used the same quantity, but Materials price variances 
are the responsibility of the purchasing manager. The purchasing manager is the individual who contacts our suppliers, negotiates with our suppliers about discounts uh, for quantity, for early payment, and um, also deals with getting the good merchandise, uh, excuse me, the materials transported to us. So has to deal with the transportation people and with the freight charges. So purchasing is responsible for this variance because purchasing, not production, is responsible for this variance. The variance should be isolated at the point of purchase. Now, usually the quantity purchased and the quantity used are not the same. So when you've got a difference, you should calculate the price variance based on the quantity purchased quantity of the raw materials purchased should be used to calculate the price variance. 